think this is one of the most exciting things Diageo has ever done. To see the transformation from the initial ideas to today was nothing short of miraculous. After one intense week of boot camp, everything has changed for them. I want that journey, that journey of flavors and taste, and that means from the beginning to the middle to the end. I want to find out the idea or the concept behind the liquid. If it's a great need spirit, fine. If it's a great brand people ask for, that's perfect. But it's about the commitment. The last thing we really need to do is to meet our finalists. Here we go. Thank you. Well done. <laughs> Thank you so much. Now look at this guy, big earring, you know, dressing really chic, Italian, you know. Sharing myself with uh, all, the, all the judges, all the people, is what I do every day behind the bar. White tea, delicious, elegant, you know, and smooth. Wow, I love it. Competition, you know, makes time like really, really quickly. Enjoy. <laughs> so I want to take you guys through the journey that I had from right from the beginning. I just got so swept up with the boards. It's like bottle, and then I was like, I haven't given them my liquid yet. There's the finish of the sake, which gives it a lovely, smooth, creamy finish that you don't get from most gins. Got freaked out because I was like, this is not the flow of things that I was supposed to be saying. There was only one spirit of choice and that was Geneva. All right. All right. <laughs> I could see some reaction sometimes, um, but it was not a, no, no, I, I, I couldn't read what I mostly can as a bartender. The bottle looks great, the, 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 the liquid is fantastic. I don't know, I don't know. I'm absolutely in love with this bottle, I'm in love with my liquid. You still get those whiskey notes, but you still get that sweetness. It just went so well, so well. The only thing that didn't go the way I wanted it to in there was my champagne serve. Now I'm just like, yeah, done. That product as bundled has enough differentiation and enough authenticity that I think we could make it work. I like uh, a lot the bottle, I think it's perfect. From a packaging point of view, I think that's probably the most accomplished. All of them are interesting. Yeah, I but this is name. good. Well, I think yeah. this product now is yeah. It is very much more commercial name yeah. than that. It already has a space on its own essence. It feels very real. So here we go. The winner is... Jinzu. A massive thanks to uh, Nicola and Chloe. Without these guys and you guys, it wouldn't have been anywhere near as much fun. I'm just so happy. Like, I'm so happy for Dee. She's just such a sweetheart and she's put her absolute heart into this. It doesn't smell like a gin, and then when you taste it, you really get that cherry blossom and the, uh, the sake at the back. It's very, very smooth. It takes you on a journey that is really from west to east, and I've never had that experience before. I think she's a marketing genius. She knew that she had something very new, very different, but yet she made it work with tonic. She made it work at a martini. That will work for consumers. Yet it's still interesting enough for bartenders all over the world. How do you explain with words what it feels like to have your dream come true? It's unreal. 